Good morning, my lovers. Guess where I am? Yes, I'm back in the fields. And uh, I've got this orchard here. See the orchard? And the grass is a lot shorter now. It's winter time. Oh, in the shade. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to get around these trees and see if I can find some ancient relics. Oh, oh I got something here. Uh, let's crack it. What's that there? Is it a tiny piece of cack? <laughs> it is. Ugh. Uh, uh, I saw a rock. Oh, is it some more of that cack? Right, I'm going to move away from this spot. <laughs> yeah, let's just give it a quick rub. I'm going to move away from that spot. Yeah, it's more of that same cack. Ugh. Oh, I was just about to pick up my metal detector and say, oh, it sounds coinish, and I can now see it. I can see it. it looks like a good big penny. It's lovely jubbly. Oh, Queen Victoria, me thinks. Oh, yeah. Veilhead. There she blows. Good day to you, Mom. Good day. Uh, 1901. Uh, gonna have to find out how John does that fancy camera trick with wasted coins. You said it was an app. Well, I don't use a phone much. So perhaps I can get an app on my PC because I use them more. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I just put that plug back in and... <laughs> Gonna have to dig it back out again. There she blows! Oh, I got some silver! Woohoo! I got some silver. How about that? Yeah, that just goes to show how long those coins have been in circulation. That was 1901, that penny. And this one is 1931. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Oh, second hole, no, third, no, hold up, no, no, fourth hole. <laughs> Silver coin. Lovely. I have to come back to this spot here. On to the next. Oh, sounds coinish. Oh, I'm a good 10 feet from that other coin spill. So I don't think it's the same one. But I'm doing along the edge of a hedge line. That's always a good place to look. Yeah. Check the hole. What's it? Sounds biggish. Oh, nice crumbly soil. Nope. Come on. Where is it to? Ah, there it is. Half penny. Oh, yeah, half penny. Oh, it's gorgeous George. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, 
nice condition. Right, let's give it a rub on the magic trousers. Yeah, 1922. Hello, George. There you are, you can see a bit of a hedge line, look. Pallet, stop the sheep escaping. So I got all this up, right up to there to do, that shed, and, and, and the other side of that shed. I haven't gone into the orchard yet. I thought I'd just do around the edge, because the, because the landowner has been very kind and he's cut back all these brambles with some sort of machine he's got. Oh, if, he, if only he could do lots more of that. Now I've got this probe on here, you see this sort of dark bit down here? That's discrimination, so I've got a signal. It's kind of in there. But it's a bit iffy, but if I put it on full all metal mode... A lot clearer. That's why you should always use it in all metal mode. Now, with this detector, I can I can alternate, alternate, switch between programs. So I, I, I swing with this one with a bit of discrimination, and I swing, and when I get a signal, I go to all metal mode. Still could be iron though. And it's not giving me anything now but iron. Oh. Saying that, 12, 21. Oh, could be a hammered coin. Yeah, a bit of mineralization. What's that there? What is that there? That's a rock. Mm, don't know. Sounds like cat now. No reason why I shouldn't have had an am coin from this land yet because it's in a really really good spot. You know, I'm near to a Saxon church. You know, a quarter of a mile from a Saxon church, literally. Right, I'll get back to you if it's anything, but if I if it ain't, I won't. There you, are. you see that? Look, quarter of a mile from that. Built in Saxon times. Oh, I dug a bit wider. Something in there. <laughs> What's that there? Is it a musket ball? Is it? No, it's not a musket ball. It's a Tudor button. Well, the Tudors were here. But yeah, I want Saxon, not Tudor. A Tudor button. That... It's a 500 year old button. Right there. Oh, that's why it was such an iffy signal. Go on, just walk round the other side of this shed and the landowners made some compost bins. Well, at least I think they are. But look, I built them out of old railway sleepers. You know, I don't know what you do in America, but this is what you use in, in England for old railways, where the uh, lines would attach there, look. Monstrous. Beautiful, really. I'm not sure about putting it on nettles, though. God, when that sun goes behind a cloud, it gets right parky. Oh, could be a coin. Oh, come on. Ah, feel something. I can feel something. Ah, oh, it's cack. Ugh. Oh, could be a hammy. Oh, 
Oh, where is it? Ah. Oh, come on. It's got to be it. Nope. Ah, what's that? <gasps> Looks like silver. Looks like silver. It does. Is it? Oh, no. It's not silver. It's a spendable 50p, you bugger! <laughs> That's why I said it looked like silver, because it's still a bit silvery. Oh, I can spend that down the pub later. See what they say when I put that on the bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, spendable 50p. Ugh. What's the date? Oh, 1997. Ugh. God, when that sun goes behind a cloud, it gets right parky. Oh, could be a coin. Oh, come on. Ah, feel something. I can feel something. Ah, oh, it's cack. Ugh. Oh, could be a hammy. <laughs> oh, where is it? Ah. Oh, come on. It's got to be here. Nope. Ah, what's that? <gasps> Looks like silver. Looks like silver. It does. Is it? Oh, no. It's not silver. It's a spendable 50p, you bugger! <laughs> That's why I said it looked like silver, because it's still a bit silvery. Oh, I can spend that down the pub later. See what they say when I put that on the bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, spendable 50p. Ugh. What's the date? Oh, 1997. Ugh. Oh, it's been discovered by the landowner's dog. Oh, no. Oh, it wants me to chuck a stick. Sounds coinish. Thing is, once you start, you can't stop, can you? Yeah. Oh, felt something. Is it a big piece of cack? It is. My first piece of lead of the day. Right, I'll get back to you if there's anything on it, but if they're in, I won't. Right, you see that plant there? Do you know what that is? That's mistletoe. And do you know how it gets spread about? Birds, because the, the berries are very gooey and sticky, birds, they spread their bums on branches, because they're trying to get rid of it because it's sticking to their bums. <laughs> and the, 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 the seed germinates and plugs itself right into the plant, into the tree. It's a parasite. Mistletoe is a parasite, and you can see there where it's plugged itself straight into the branch. It's probably best to trim those off, because otherwise they can get really big. Look at that one. You know, eventually it will kill the tree if there are too many gets on there, because it just drains all the sap. And do you know, traditionally, how farmers get mistletoe out of the trees? Well, they sort of shoot the branches off with shotguns. <laughs> Bit iffy this one. 
bit lying in there. Right, let's be spade. Right. Oh look, there's a woolworm. It must be gold with a woolworm. Is that how they say it in Scotland? Woolworms? For one out. Uh, it's oh, what is it? Looks ring shaped. Oh, I think it's just a bit of copper pipe. <laughs> you bugger! It's just a bit of thin copper pipe. Right, I'll clean this up and I will get back to you. Right, I'm not sure it's a bit of copper pipe, but it has got like sharp edges on the inside, so it's not a ring. It's got a lovely patina. Uh, nice and shiny patina. So I think it is a bit of copper pipe. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. If you know, post below. God, this was giving me a hell of a signal. I thought it had an ore. A bit of aluminum, but that bit looks melted. So I might have to avoid this place because there's going to be loads of melted rubbish here. Oh, I thought I had an ore. Oh, just had a disaster, absolute disaster, cataclysmic. Um, my metal detector just suddenly went burp, burp, and then it flashed up low battery, which is really odd because I charge them up before I come out. I put, when I get home, I take them out, put them in the charger, and you know, and take them out, put them in the machine. So when I go out, so I'm guessing it just don't like the cold weather, so, and I haven't got spares. It's never happened before, <laughs> never. Never happened before. I'll show you the battery setup. So this is the battery setup. That unclips. That pulls out. And in there are the batteries. And I go for these because they're bloody good. EBL 2800 milliamp hours. Now I did have the original battery in there before you know the lithium iron but the charger stopped working and when I looked up for a new charger it was like 120 quid just for the charger so I thought oh bugger that so they this comes with it so if the if the lithium iron battery ever goes wrong you've got this as a backup and I've been using this for years so I'm gonna have to reinvest in some new batteries will bring a tester with me and some spare ones just in case because there might be a dud one in here or it just might be the cold weather oh what a bummer oh, wrong way like that that goes in there you know that's that's the problem with the knocks you can't do this with the knocks no if the battery goes wrong you've got to order a new one and it'll take you six months to get it. Oh, really miffed. Really miffed, because, you know, the sun's still up, and I could have been metal detecting for another couple of hours or more, but I'm quite happy, because I've got a nice pint of... Oh, can you see that? Abba Ale. Abba Ale. Quality stuff this is quality. So I'm a bit pissed off. So that's the end of the video And I will see you on the next but the weather is warming up now. So I will be out detecting a Bit more now because it's just starting to warm up You know it's getting towards the end of January. That's when it kind of well I'll probably the coldest month is sort of January. So that's the end of the month. So I will oh, Pork that down. I will see you uh, on the next, hopefully the next uh, time I go out detecting. Um, but um, yeah, really miffed it suddenly went wrong. So, you know, I'm going to have to carry extra batteries and I'm going to have to battery test all those batteries. I think there's got to be a few dod dod dodgy ones in there. Probably, it might have been that it was 
I was resting the detector on the floor and it got cold but it's never happened before and I've been out in like I've had it you know you've been using those batteries and the detector for years so why it should have suddenly done that you, I've only was only out for a couple of hours and then it suddenly went dead like and you know I've been out really really cold like below zero um celsius a celsius not like fahrenheit <laughs> So I'm down the pub and I'm in my happy place and I'll see you on the next. Cheers!